myself a chair. All right, what is that? Oh, that's. Oh, no, that's oh, okay. okay. Yeah, no, I'll crush him. Let me, uh, let me go. Yeah, we're trying to make a seat for myself so it could be a little safer since this is a two passenger uh, <laughs> food truck. So let's see how this comes out. It's gonna be. That's gonna be my chair? Yeah. All right, let's do this. So here's the reef. Mobile kitchen. Alright, hi, uh, my name is Gabriel Lita. I am doing a documentary on the reef, mobile kitchen. Right now, uh, Cesar, you should walk, man. Cesar uh, Federico's over there. You can't really see him, it's kind of dark over there. They, we're get, they're getting everything ready for their daily uh, run. All right, so you guys are already packed. How long does it take you guys to uh, get everything ready before um, you actually go on your daily run? About 30 minutes. Half an hour, yeah. Half an hour, and then um, do you guys just have the regular menu, or do you guys plan like on different dishes every other day or something like that? Most days is the regular menu, right? Yep. Um, yeah, but we just introduced a new, a new, new kind of tacos. Just for the season, they are fruity. Let's see how it works. So far, so far so good. We've been working out so good. Yeah, people like them. Sweet. So, are we ready to go on our yes. journey? We're ready to roll. Yeah. All right. Let's see how this is. <laughs> oh. We have to do our checklist. <laughs> oh yeah, we do. Oh, okay. Before Every day you... we do a checklist, man. Every day? Yeah. Because we forgot them. Have you guys um, forgotten a really important ingredient before? One day we forgot the uh, seafood. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Man. Oh my gosh, that's the we main ingredient. We're gonna have, we're gonna have fish. We're gonna have shrimp. <laughs> All right, oh, so man. fish and chili chips. We got flour, cornstarch, baking powder, limes, spices, spices, tartar sauce, codfish, fries. How much tartar sauce did you bring in? Ten. Ten. Okay, uh, fries, cod, okay. Okay. tacos, we got tortillas, pico de gallo, chipotle, cilantro serrano, serrano. cabbage, cabbage, yes, uh, cilantro, cilantro, uh, do you bring cilantro? Yeah, ahí está, más el que ya tienes picado, okay, okay, sí o no? Tortilla, we got butter, flour, tortilla, flour, tortilla, garlic, shrimp, potley. Right now we are at a standstill looking for uh, one of the keys for a vehicle that we need to move so we could park there. So uh, Federico is looking for his keys right now, so uh, we'll be back right now. Uh, I'm going to help him look for it. Too. Uh, I know we're supposed to already head out, but yep. what happened? Oh, it's because my friend, uh, we actually have, we always have to take a car and then park it in the spot that we, we would like to put the truck on the next day. Mm -hmm. But, um, because you know, it's, it's a lot of students uh, getting spots all around campus. Right. So we need to find ourselves a spot before everybody gets in and then fills the place up. So that's what we did last night. We took Federico's car mm -hmm. and we parked it. We parked it and then right now after we finish everything we mm -hmm. haven't been able to find his keys <laughs> uh, i was thinking he left it at his apartment he doesn't know for sure so he has to he had to uh, go back and look for him hopefully he'll find him because if we weren't able to move it we're able to park it and we'll call it mm -hmm. the day <laughs> uh, are you ready sorry <laughs> sorry for the brief you fired delay you fired <laughs>
the generator. Okay, so you measure the weight to a back. Yeah, we we have everything measured up, measured out. Those are we see those. Step it has to be exact. The the amount of uh, of uh, corn uh, corn starch, uh, all uh, flour and baking powder. It's like a baking sort of recipe. So if you if you mess up with the quantities, it won't it won't do what you want it to do. It won't it won't get golden brown. Coffee, it won't get the color. It won't get any crunching. Mm -hmm. Have you guys tried different beers? We yeah, did, beers. yeah, when we were experimenting. Experimenting. You know, is this your favorite? But, yeah, this okay. one was, and it was, and it's from Texas, you know, and everything. <laughs> it is, it is really good for color because it, it tastes good uh -huh. and it adds a uh, color. You know, it gets the brown color to it, the golden brown to the mm. to everything we we butter on the GBD. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, at the beginning we tried different ones. We tried Heineken, but it, the color wasn't just right. Uh -huh. And then until we got that one, and that one was the one that worked for us. It's pretty much there's already customers here. And uh, they're still preparing right actually. She ate here yesterday. <laughs> she ate here yesterday and then she um, she had the same thing, the tacos. So then you said that this happens a lot where you guys are still preparing everything but sometimes it does, especially you know, that's why we like to be here a little earlier before lunch. Because if we were to be here the time we intended to be, we have we already had everything prepared by the time somebody arrives. Sometimes things happen like today and then we are not, not able to do our thing. So are these uh, shrimps uh, that go in the tacos? Yeah, no. exactly. And the quesadillas, is that the same thing too? No, the quesadillas have a uh, mojo de ajo shrimp. We put it in the griddle with uh, butter and, and uh, with butter and garlic. So this is the order that they called in, right, that you're getting ready? Yeah. Exactly. So how much, how much was the order you guys are doing right now when that's called in? How much did or, it cost? No, no, how much? Oh, how is it? What is it? Yeah, like how many orders? Two shrimp tacos and one order, one order of the fries. Oh, okay. Okay, hey, just the king fries. Service, you gotta have everything already processed. Nope. All the ingredients. How long did it take you guys to make it? The sauce? How long? Like to perfect it? Uh, it, it is actually um, a recipe from your family, right? My family, yeah. Oh, yeah. They had restaurants in Juarez. Bro, it's been it's been kind of slow for being a Thursday. It's been okay, I guess. Yeah. But um, but um, yeah, it is not close to what I was expecting. It's always tough to to um, trying to predict the demand. It is really tough. But yeah, you gotta be prepared. <laughs> so yeah, we're here in the fruit truck. We're still waiting for some customers. I've been here uh, since the morning with them. And it's a pretty neat experience. 
So yeah, we're just hanging around, uh, waiting for some customers. And yeah, I tried one of their uh, special recipes for the shrimp cocktail. The the sauce, um, people mainly use like Clamato, but they make their own specialty sauce and it's really good, um, very tasty. And um, yeah, I'm probably gonna have a little quesadilla later on. I'm gonna order one and we'll see you soon. So how was your day today, the whole thing? The day, day started a little bit with a drama with Federico Lasiskis. Uh, we got here a little later than we thought, mm -hmm. but it still was okay. We had a little bit of a, uh, traffic at the beginning, but then it slowed down, I don't know why, and then the times where we usually have the the rush, well, there was no, no kind of rush, so. But regardless of that, we, we did okay, and, and I guess, Gotta find a way to to market ourselves more, cause um, I think we're not getting that traffic, the, the traffic that we were expecting to get, regardless of being kind of new. Yeah, but so far, uh, not a very encouraging day.